Hello everybody, welcome to what it is now, episode 5 of Titan's Grave, here on channel. Wow, uh, is it 5? I do believe it is 5. <laughs> I'm I, if it is not 5, I may have misnumbered the episode in the title. So, no, no, I believe I'm, it, it just feels I, like... I'm pretty sure it's episode 5. <laughs> uh, yeah, so welcome again to... What will certainly you know be upcoming chaos uh, here in, in Valkana with this mm -hmm. wonderful group of amazing people here that I have at my virtual table once again. Um, as always, before we get started, the usual announcement here and there. Um, first and foremost, you know, click exclamation mark and chat and uh, exclamation mark dice and chat. There you go. Um, we'll bring you uh, the little link to the product that we have a little bit of kickback this month with Dahar Dice because yes we are a dice affiliate with Dahar Dice and you use the promo code GRCREW at checkout yes. to get 10% off your entire order and if you choose to add the uh, what is this month the pop up dice tower which is what is the nice it's like collapsible Apparently I'm not able to collapse it because I'm that clever today. <laughs> I'm having a day, okay? Every there you go, magnets. It's all magnets. Three minutes a week. <laughs> and it's it you know it's flat, easy to bring with your like books and all that when you go play somewhere, which I like because big bulky things in a bag full of books, especially if you're the GM, uh, you don't want because it takes more space for nothing. So. Yeah, if you know people are into dice towers, uh, collapsible one from Dark Dice, good, good one. And if you choose to add it to your order, you get a little kickback, and you get get ten percent off of it, of it. So, I think right now it is also on sale on their site, if I'm not mistaken. So, extra discount right there. Um, like that, uh, as always, exclamation mark pronounce. Because we encourage all our viewers to use the this Twitch extension, which is actually not by Twitch, which allow you to add your pron preferred pronouns. And if you choose to add that extension to most Chromium browser, uh, you will be able to see other people's preferred pronouns. It's non invasive, takes you like less than two minutes, and it helps making the community a bit more inclusive. Yeah, if that we would greatly appreciate if you just if you don't have it already, just take the two minutes to do that. I that on my end, I don't have any other announcement because any other thing uh, that I may have has not been announced yet. So stay tuned on our GR social and my social at the GR crew on Twitter and Greater Freaky for any updates. I will leave it to my wonderful, amazing cast of amazing people to tell us all about the cool stuff that is coming up for them. Um, whoever wants to go first. I'll go. Sorry, I'm digging for my dice. Um, <laughs> oh, I, I am that. fair. <laughs> I'm fair. I'll be playing Sabine tonight. Um, and on Sunday, I'm actually going to be playing a uh, charity game of, um, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, so I apologize in advance for any German speakers. I'm still in Nacht, um, over on Balrog 1911's channel. Um, we are raising money for Players versus Cancer. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a com amazing cast. Like, along with me, it's going to be Petra, who is the creator of this one shot. Um, Urban Bohemian, uh, Stephen Kills. Um, and then Balrog 1911, Diane is the facilitator. It's going to be a murder mystery. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very excited. We had our session zero last weekend and it went so well. Um, so please stop by. It is going to be at one second. I know time. Um, 2 p.m. Eastern. Um, and uh, if you follow me on Twitter, I will be posting about it and I'll be reblogging the announcement. So I'm at Fairbear. That's it. Yeah. Other than that, you can find me Saturdays on Link Beast 20. 
because, <laughs> because you're a mod on the channel fair feel free to just drop that link or all the yes. information in the chat so that everybody can have a look and know catch that game and and create you know a wonderful cast and wonderful cause with the charity stream we love that here Ooh, we got a hype train going what yeah, train I know. Go what the heck is going on variety level three which is even more awesome all right i mean hey bitties all hail to chew bitties. i don't know what to say wow <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hype train, what? <laughs> All right, I'll go next. Yeah. I'll go next. So I, uh, I'm Celine. You can find me on my Twitch channel uh, here, twitch.tv slash Celine. You can find me on Twitter at Celine. And tomorrow night, if you are a fan of the Bard, the Bard being Shakespeare, not the other Bards. Um... <laughs> <laughs> we will be performing. I mean, it's the OG Bard. The yeah. OG yeah. Bard. The OG Bard. Uh, I will be participating in uh, What Streams May Come on Chaotic Tiefling ATO, which is there in the chat. Uh, we will be doing the second half of Hamlet. Uh, oh. It's a randomly cast, randomly rolled uh table read but it's it's pretty cool and it gets awful body so that'll so be it you're uh, literally just doing one half of hamlet is that what i'm yeah we did the yeah. they okay. did the first half of Percent. hamlet a couple weeks ago. oh okay okay yeah. i was like that, that is <laughs> that is the <laughs> longest <laughs> splinter mission ever everybody know how it should end but you know it's still a long <laughs> Hamlet's a long play, man. It is a long oh, yeah, play. Is. Uh, so yeah, so they split it into two weeks. This is also the one year anniversary of what streams may come. Hey. So that should be cool. So yeah, that's tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern time uh, on Chaotic Tiefling ATO. And uh, yeah. Go give them some love. Watch some unique version of Hamlet, uh, which will most likely be odd chaos just knowing them it will be interesting nonetheless oh well the fun part is sitting in chat saying all the things that you would really like to say yeah. um at a shakespeare performance uh in a proper theater but like not being able to but mm -hmm. like audience participation is great so essentially just like a regular you know play where people just yell at you know performer because people are maybe rude but here it will be acceptable it would, yeah, it would be like the old, the old style globe theater in the round kind of thing where people were yelling at the actors. Now you can yell at us in Twitch chat. Fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, make sure to the flashback to my Rocky Horror days. Oh, we're being raided. <laughs> oh, it's my buddy Big B. Hey. Welcome Hi. in, raiders. Hey guys. Big, Big B is my uh, survival so. Saturday buddy. Oh, nice. Welcome in, everybody. Kitty, Jiggle, do you have any awesome, cool things to hype up? You're amazing people. I... Um, well, I'll just do my spiel first. Yeah, then. do your, um, your spiel. I'm Kitty. I'm playing Clistra tonight. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at insanekitty32. And you can also check out my shop at Causality Cat Studios on Etsy where I sell Dicearamas, which are your good luck charms, and hopefully, knock on wood, um, next week I will be working on getting some new Dicearamas up into the shop. So, well, they'll make, finish making them and get them into the shop, but yeah. So, so pretty. So pretty. <laughs> and if they can help uh kelly's rolls they can help anybody's and rolls. yeah i still i honestly still need to buy one um because i we all know i desperately need one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bad rolls Look, after my rolls last session i need all the help i can get and i'm pretty yeah, sure just... they're like cat resistant as well oh yeah so like, if you have your pet owner them, my cat has dropped 
knocked them off and they've still kept their shape. So it's like, yep, the cat approved. Cat tested, kitten approved. There you go. <laughs> Last but not least, Jiggles. <laughs> Uh, I don't have much except for the uh, the 22nd of this month, that's a couple Sundays from now, will be my one-year anniversary as a Twitch affiliate. Um, Ooh, nice. And since our Acquisitions Inc. game should be done by then, which makes me very sad, very, very sad. It's been a year with, these, with, with those wild ones. Um, but I will be most likely doing an all-day stream kind of thing. So, there it is, Ron. Come, come hang out. It yeah. should be fun. Go we'll give Jiggle some love. It's amazing. We love him here, and you should follow him on his own channel as well. Get some cool game gameplay and mini painting and all that jazz. All good times. So, all right. Well, I think that's, you know, does it for the quick, you know, round table. I pop and delight. I still see that train in chat. So as you know, <laughs> as the train is you know going down slowly, and uh, let's just rolling our quick intro video, and we'll be back in a minute or two. And cry your heart out. Yeah. <laughs> and we are back. <laughs> Alright. So where we left off last week. Our party of had some, you know, fun time in in, in the city of Nestara with the Festival of Fallen celebration. A lot of food, a lot of and against and some dangerous chaos adverted thanks to the amazing tracking skill of the Kareen, uh was done there was also a bit of shopping for our party member who was on a bit of a much needed rest this session before but yeah overall good fun good times and a few mysterious things that may imply Things with the autonomous front, so we'll see where this will lead or how our party will decide to approach the situation. As you know, they are more and more engaged in the day to day intrigue of the city. But I'm sitting here going, I cannot remember his name. Was his name, did we call him John? I mean, you originally called him John, Jeff? and then John. you guys eventually landed on James. We, okay, James. then we changed it to James. I yeah. watched it and I wrote down notes. I think at one point, I think at one point he was also Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> at one point he was Jeff. Yeah, we're from John he to was Jeff a... accidentally, but James was from chat. Yeah, yeah James was from chat. Yeah. John, because it's that name that everybody like that everybody was had. very popular, like John Doe. Then accidental Jeff, and then James. Yeah, and that's where it stayed uh, at James. Accidental Jeff. That's my new band <laughs> name. Accidental <laughs> Jeff. That's <laughs> amazing. All right, there are. I'm glad this is filmed. I mean, if, if you want, there's gonna be in canon a, a band named Accidental <laughs> Jeff accidental in the setting. Jeff. Yes, do it. Because that is funny as hell. Yeah. That was Zach's band in college. Yeah. <laughs> Right, it was my ska band. Yeah. Was your ska band. <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> we used to skank it up all the time. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to tell that, you know, Zach at some point was a ska, ska, ska person, but yeah, no. No, 100%. Oh, yeah. They had the French horn. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could see it. We have learned something new today. Yeah. <laughs> the more dead. you know. The ED dead. So my, I have a question for the group, actually. Mm -hmm. um, since we've been traveling together for a while, are, are y'all the type of people who would always sit in the same spot at a table like if we go somewhere and sit down at a table is it always the same kind of layout or are you all too random for that chaos yeah chaos fair enough i think sabine's just always looking for a seat that she can actually see sitting. over the table <laughs> while she's sitting in it so mm -hmm. there's just not many like athlete friendly establishments sadly um yeah. Um, Usually they may I have like a kid booster seat. We check. That's pretty discriminatory. Um, uh, yeah. That's our next mission. Yeah. <laughs> to Checking make the host more like, Yes, yes, three adults and one child. I mean, halfling. <laughs> yes. I mean, listen. Do the child? Do the children get discounts though? Because <laughs> Sabine will be all about that little scam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Kids twelve and under eat free. <laughs> going, to the, going to the movies, you get a kid ticket me okay no she's not a halfling she's a just a, a kid help elf that's what it is right yeah oh. this is my daughter i will kill you oh. don't touch her <laughs> <laughs> i'm assuming that after all this chaos you are back at the festival hotel where you will also meet callie who has you know is done with her Day's business because last time she was not with all of you during the festivities, ending a few things in the city. We have to present her with her gift. Yeah, yeah, yes. no. If we walk in and she's there, it's just gonna be, boom, dropping the the French press on the table. Okay, what in the world is this? It's to make coffee with. Wherever you are, it's self heating. Actually, I should do this properly. <laughs> <laughs> you know I have mug at ale. You know damn well. Okay. Yeah, this blade anyway. What did you do? What do you... We, I mean, we had a lot of... Um, uh, well, we first of all, we got that for you uh, because we wanted you to have it, and that way you'd never run out of coffee, except for if you forgot to get your own coffee. Um... And also, I mean, we just, um, I mean, we, we stopped a terrorist attack. Okay. I have done There's that. a good chance we're going to take over the rebellion. Yeah, that too. <laughs> you want a donut? Later. So, okay, give me in detail what happened. Because, um... Last I remember, you guys were going to go, you two were going to go shopping. You did. Or they, yeah, they did. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You did it yesterday. I... But you guys were going to the festival to celebrate and have fun and terrorist attack? Or yeah, you we did that it? too. And there was a guy trying to set up some bombs uh, at the parade, on the parade route. And we spotted him and, um, and um, Ava tricked him into thinking that they knew each other at first and then just kept him talking. And then um, he, long story short, Zach uh, got him. And then we got him to stop. <laughs> okay. And so we, 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 may or, we may or may not have foiled somebody trying to fire on the parade. And she kind of opens the bag and just kind of shows you the, the little fire things and then closes the bag. Zach chased him through town, caught him. It was magical. You wouldn't even believe. Like, Zach put no effort into it. It was, like, amazing. Anyway, then we convinced him that hurting innocent people was not the way to go. And he said that if, basically, if we thought we could do a better job, we should show up and meet the group. And so we may know where they're meeting. 
And quite frankly, I think that we could absolutely do a better job because we're not just going to blow things up willy nilly to get like, what's that going to do? It's not going to do anything. Killing people at a parade is not going to do anything. And I, I told mean, him, it'll scare people, but like that's not it'll scare happen. people. But I told him, like, you'd think that his leaders, who are supposed to be so brilliant, would have thought of this by now, but they haven't. So anyway, we're meeting them. You want to come? I mean, um, I'm going to have to because dealing with this kind of situation, I think it was a miracle that you guys. We're successful. What's that? Um, okay, you should give us a little bit more credit than that. Like, yeah, that's a little. little that's just a little insulting. Yeah. What? I mean, look at what happened the day before with the one that actually succeeded. We, I mean, we did well there, but. Um, so the key thing is, when you weren't here, they did not succeed. True. <laughs> And How you were Ava, able to see this when there's a bean. Ava leans down to Sabine and goes, Kelly's going to bust a blood vessel. <laughs> yeah. Sabine just like takes a bite of her donut. <laughs> like almost absently, but like kind of like a popcorn gift. Like she just takes a bite <laughs> like watching. <laughs> okay, let me ask you this. Do any of you know how to run a organization like this what is needed i don't know that they know how to run an organization like yeah, this so anything like, what that we that could do as a group would be probably better than what they're doing yeah no, they're just let, doing let things out on, on a whim let me rephrase it do you have proper contacts that you can get into the city and understand what's actually going on with the uh, guilds themselves do you understand how to sway the populace in order to back your uh, group to show that, hey, this is the problem. Uh, do you know how to undermine an entire government in order to try to change things? And did it ever come to your understanding that maybe there's somebody else in the city that is doing all this and working? I mean, well, the first step towards gaining the populace's, you know, approval is not indiscriminately murdering them, which is what we prevented yesterday. That was a, that was a big yeah. Well, I mean, that's all. Secondly, <laughs> all that other stuff. Do you? I think she, she just, does. She's really she good at talking to people. I do have some contacts that I can talk to. <clears throat> some of them I might have to reestablish, but. Uh, so I don't know that we were going to go in tomorrow and just like immediately take over. Yeah, we we're going to talk. We're, we've got to at least show up and see what's going on. I mean, at but the also, very least, I just I, I want them to stop indiscriminately killing civilians. That That's not what needs to be happening. It's not going to help their case. And it's just causing innocent people to die. They need to, if they're going to do it, go for the head of the snake. But. Yes, and the fact is that they're not realizing that they're just taking away expendable people that are easily switched up and changed. The guilds don't care really about those on the bottom, and those are the ones that they're attacking, which leads only to public opinion going, oh, you're a terrorist, we should not trust you, and immediately go to the guilds and maybe get a little bit of something from them. But overall, trying to overthrow an entire situation, that that takes time and we have to stab your issue still. But I mean, going, giving our but, own but. thing, but I worry that they aren't totally a singular entity, but sex. So there's one that does their own thing. There's another one that does their own thing. And you have this conglomerate of chaos that doesn't really understand what the other one's doing. Meaning, it's yeah, they're most likely individual them. cells, absolutely. But you gotta, you gotta have to understand. We just the person that we spoke to, John, Jeff, James, whatever. Um, I don't think we actually got his name. Yeah, but it doesn't him. really, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. He's just a stooge. <laughs> um, 
when we when we spoke to him, it was about the whole leave the innocence out of it, and that's what made him invite us to the meeting. The yeah, whole he like us taking over that. was a joke. But if it's possible, if we could actually help. He really acted like he never, it had never crossed anybody's mind to not kill innocent people. Like, it seemed like a strange and new concept to him when we, when we said it. Okay, in my experience, when I was with my family, um, some of these people always thought that anybody who was doing anything, even the smallest little thing just to survive, were basically bootlickers of the guild and were expendable, unfortunately. So some of these people are going to be hard to break of that mindset, <laughs> unfortunately. But I mean, Callie kind of, are we in our room or are we actually downstairs in like- I would hope bar? that we're not like, down in public. I would hope or so. Or if we too. are, there's nobody around. For your sake, I would hope so. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm thinking that you guys came to Callie's room. Um, yeah, and... Callie wouldn't be down there mingling with people. Peasant. With the bootlickers. Oh, yeah, I mean, with the peasants. With the bootlickers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she has standards. Not going to be in bootlickers R Us. Come on now. Okay. <laughs> So, let me just ask you this real fast. While we're here, what do you guys want to do? Do you want to actually pursue this and try to undermine an entire government? I mean... Or... So, what exactly do you want to do, is my question. Well, it could be that this guy is just an idiot. So, if we show up and they're more organized, then that then that's great, right? If they're not, and they're going to continue to like try to kill innocent people and be terrorists, I think that that's bad, like really, really bad. We should totally feeling, do something about that. I have a feeling a lot of these people are sheeple. All it takes is one person saying things that just sound good, and they'll follow them to their deaths, unfortunately, once they really get into it. So, hopefully it's actually organized and we get to the main area and we're not dealing with a bunch of smaller groups with heads and sheep. So, it's up to you. I will follow you guys where you want to, though I do need to go into town again to pick up some supplies from a friend. If you guys want to come with me. And we still have a couple of days until uh, the annoyed one is done examining our orb. <laughs> I yeah. believe I believe it's a couple of days yet. Yeah, I mean, she she mentioned that she would probably need like a day or two. That's yeah, been you know a day, so and you haven't heard probably. back from her. So. Oh yeah, we have uh, communicators now. Yes, we do. So, yes. Um, The shop is in central, so we'll have to take the buggy over there, though. That's fine, though. The meeting place is just on the other side of the bridge. No. Oh. Basically, I would like to get the stuff that I ordered first before going into the Hornets. Right. Is the stuff you ordered valuable? You'll Because if it is, if it is, don't want to just leave it in the vehicle and no, walk no, into it, a meeting. It's going to be on my person. No worries. Ah. Let's just say some of the stuff that I just picked up will probably help us in the long run, especially if we have to make a run for it. But. Yes. All right, so what's the plan? We're going to on a little drive. What, is yeah. this, this is still nighttime, or have we actually moved on to the next day? Uh, I think it would be still uh, an evening at this point. So okay. we could have, you know, 
nice rest. You know, think about what you need to do. If there's anything overnight that you wish to accomplish, because most shop, uh, including uh, where Kitty, or sorry, Cali, uh, wish to go, uh, would probably you know be closing you know, soon, especially you know during mm -hmm. holiday. Uh, yeah, but it's gonna take them a probably. Tomorrow is when we'll have my stuff ready. Exactly. Oh, yeah. oh. Can Ben and I get some rest? Not annoyed and uh, not work and yell too much at things that you're working on and annoyed at, you know, the other tenant of hotel. Right, Ava? <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. I would never ever disturb <laughs> other people in the hotel with curse Actually, words. Can I've never done anything wrong ever. Her no. Life. Never ever. Uh, and, uh, can I have you guys actually roll me, roll a, I think it's perception hearing, because I just want to see if you hear something that Callie does once you guys leave. Oh lord, okay. Oh. Oh lord. This is family friendly <laughs> stream, Callie. Oh, no, no, no. Why? Um, let's see. You said perception. As if, as, as if any of my game were family friendly. Eleven. Okay. I'm just waiting for fair. Oh, yeah, I don't hear anything. <laughs> I got, um, not great, but I also got three stunt points out of it. Oh, fair. <laughs> okay. I know. Leave me alone. <laughs> Like, once you guys leave, Ava, you just hear a very muffled scream that you figure that Callie probably picked up her pillow and screamed into it. I'm just eating my donut. I hear nothing. Hey, don't I'm just busy went, keeping think, my Timagetchi alive. Yeah. I think that went really well. <laughs> and, you know, it cute, like you may hear, like, the faint beeping of that thing here and there while, you know, Zakrin is trying to keep it alive. Why would, you know... Give me an engineering check, just for a single giggle, to see how, if you, like, make it. An engineering check to keep this, <laughs> this digital thing alive? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not terrible. Uh... Is it above a 10? Oh, it's double 10. Oh, okay, then you're good. It's, it's alive, you know? <laughs> it's fed, it's pooping on its own, you're good. Good, 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 good. Have you, you got, have you cleaned up, like, the poop? Oh, yeah. Because you have to do that on Tamagotchi. Or Timigachi. Timigachi. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> can I can I spend some time working on my projects? Yeah. Uh, give me a roll a perception to hear if we see if we hear Ava screaming and her pillow. <laughs> well, it all depends on how good or bad my rolls go. Yeah. So we were using intelligence. Intelligence. Right? Yeah, intelligence engineering. If you have focus in there. I don't, I don't have engineering. Fifteen. It's going pretty well. Um, you should. If you decide, you know, to work through uh, on it through the night, you should be able to pretty much complete uh, one of the project. Okay. So, uh, depending on how many hours you want to put in there, you may be a bit tired in the morning, but. Oh, uh, I mean, if she's if she's making good progress, uh, she would like hone in on the zone and be like doing the thing. So, yeah, she'd probably keep going. Sounds. Um, Awesome. And Sabine, those donuts fucking amazing. From Dragon's I, and um before I before I left Callie's room, I did leave one for her on like the end table. <laughs> I mean It's gone by the morning. <laughs> you don't know if it's her or just you know the critters in the walls that ate it, but But yeah, it's it's good donuts. I think she wouldn't murder a critter <laughs> before they took her donuts. So yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Callie. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's actually true. She would. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if it's similar to a Krispy Kreme maple donut. Yes, she would stab someone for that. Uh, truly, it is whatever flavor you want it to be. <laughs> we did not establish this. It's just a box of donuts. Yeah. You know, from the, the, the street stand of Dragons and Donuts, which is, you know, the best donut place in town. Um, 
but eventually morning come and and one of you uh, slowly one by one wake up some of you probably a bit more tired for working on things for most of the night uh, but you are free to do whatever you want make coffee with your fancy new machine or you know oh you know damn well she does yeah or she goes know. out and gets her some coffee and she makes herself like the strongest she can just so she can have one cup of super strong coffee yeah. <laughs> you know for most for most people like the water to you know coffee ratio would be way different but mm -hmm. you know. so are you making louisiana coffee where you can stick your spoon in it and it stands up no it's like regular coffee but is like a slap in the face oh. like it has regular extra... coffee but instead of using water it uses other coffee yeah <laughs> There's like uh, the 20 cream. shots of uh, espresso in there. There you go. No. Like coffee, but brewed with an energy drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's even. Callie can hear colors. colors. Yeah. And she can see sound now. <laughs> Slightly vibrating. But y'all wake up and. The day is yours. Uh, who is the first one to make their way downstairs, though? Probably Callie. And uh, as you, uh, I'd be shortly after. But, as but... you walk in downstairs, the little uh, affling owner of the establishment goes, oh, uh, "Excuse me, miss. Uh, somebody yes? left a little note for um, you yesterday here. While well, you and your friend." Um, a lady, and he wins. Pakaya, Pokoya. I don't know. She seems a bit, a bit, a little bit annoyed. But uh, she, she um. said, she, she, she said that you know she was looking to something for you. I don't know. Uh, can I have the note, please? Oh, sure. Thank uh, you. Essentially, you know, it, 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 it you know. A note from Farkaya, you know, saying that, you know, uh, you swing by anytime because she may have figured it out. I'll tell the others. Thank you. Obviously, the sooner the better. Um, I think Sabine would come down next, but first, like, I mean, she does get up fairly early because she didn't really do any drinking the other the day before. Just a lot of eating. Um, I think, you know, she does her normal, like, routine where she checks on the belongings in her bag, just making sure everything's there. Um, you know, having a, a alone time to be nostalgic. Um, we'll kind of also check to make sure, like, her weapons are, like, still sharp or whatever, or in charged. And then she'll make her way downstairs with all her stuff because she assumes that we're probably going to the place soon. Um, she doesn't know what's going on, so she just has all her shit with her just in case. Yeah, we're gonna just get some places first before heading over. Eventually, I'm assuming that Averline will make her way down would have been probably a bit of raccoon eye because she probably didn't sleep all that much last night yeah she probably slept like maybe an hour right just enough for a cat nap um Ava do you want a sip of my coffee one sip should do trust. oh no I can I can they have coffee here I can totally oh no I'm, try I'm it Okay. I don't want to take away the magic juice that makes Kelly happy. <laughs> also, I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> my dear, this is, this is my special elven wake-up coffee. I haven't been able to make it in months. Try it. Especially, it looks like you haven't slept at all. I mean, I slept for about an hour. I was in a really good groove, so I had to stay awake. 
Um, but sure. But Ava gets uh, very nervous about like Callie sharing coffee. <laughs> She's like, I don't know if I should trust this, but I'm gonna anyway. And so she takes a sip. Uh, you feel a little extremely energized. It has like this hint of caramel and uh, this really rich flavor that you you're kind of like looking at the coffee going what the hell is this and then the energy hits you and you're just like what the heck and, and then the amphetamines kick in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you just the, the you secret just ingredient the secret yeah. ingredient <laughs> is drugs until yep. finally it hits you and you're like so she, <laughs> she looks at the she looks at the coffee cup right and she looks at Callie and she goes I'm afraid I'm gonna crush so hard from this later, but that's really good. Okay, the crush from that is probably a bitch. Oh. <laughs> First time uses, yes, you're going to be passed out tonight. Unfortunately, there was an herb that wasn't, I wasn't able to get that fixes that, but that's gonna take me a while to get. Right. Oh, by the way, um, <laughs> Once everybody's down, uh, Farkaya may have figured out the orb. If she hasn't, I might have someone who can help. Oh, yeah. We'll have to go see her at some I think point we today. Should, I think we should do her first, my errand, and the chaos you guys got us into. We don't have to go to that. I mean, yeah. we were we were invited. Be... We didn't even say we were gonna. It was uh, we'll we'll wait and see. We could just completely ignore it if it's if it's really throwing up flags. I mean, I mean, we can go give our two cents and maybe change their ways and their tactics. But we don't know, and I fear that we might be running into a trap. Especially given how they treat innocent lives, that's makes me worried. But let's go out, do our quick errands, and then after that, we can decide if we want to go or not. All right. I mean, our cast place is not very far from where you are. You've been there before, so it's not going to take you too too long to go to our. Uh, Shop of wonder and weird trinkets. Um, you know, as you approach, you know, a trove of all things weird and unique, um, she welcomes you. Uh, welcome in. You, you brought the whole the orb, right? Yes, I have it. This this one has it. <laughs> May I see it? Did, did you figure out how to open it? I. What it does? Or what it does? I have a general idea of what it does and how to open it. However, well, I'm willing to make you an offer and purchase it from you before I open it. How about 100 gold for purchase? Or I can open it for you for 50? So you pay us 100 and then we don't get to keep it. Or we give you 50 and you'll open it. That's correct. I, yeah, I don't want I don't want to sell it. Like we've had this for so long now. I, I mean, need I need to know this is one. Our shiny. It's our precious. <laughs> for so long. We've had it for a week. It is so long we have had this thing. Right. It feels like it's been like three months. <laughs> I mean, getting it was kind of chaotic and scary, so. Right. Feels like yeah. it's been at least five weeks, but what do I know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we had to literally almost <clears throat> die getting this. All right. Well, you're able to. Pay gold. I uh, will open it for you. 
Um, well, before you open it, can you tell us what it does? Or do well, we have to pay you? See, what it does, it's... It really depends when I open it, but it will absolutely benefit you once it's open. And once it's open, it's actually going to be absolutely worthless to me, so... Great value to you. I put um, 50 gold on the counter. And are we going to evolve like Pokemon? Is that what's about to happen? <laughs> that's right. And yep. you, Turn me into Charizard. Let's do it. <laughs> and you see her like run a finger across it and imbue it with a bit of magic. As she does, uh, the orb glows brightly and begins separating. Uh, and in, uh, inside there's four uh, glyph that floats. All right. Well, I gotta be able to use it for me, but uh, this glyph, uh, whoever, uh, whoever all those glyph will have a little extra thing in their life this one is i do believe the glyph of insight uh and mechanically uh while somebody wear that glyph it give uh perception focus plus three to that fo specific focus that's pretty good instead of and like uh like if you have like the perception focus instead of a plus two it will give you a plus three and if you don't and if you don't have it already, it will also give you the uh, focus and empathy. This one is the Glyph of Life, which gives you a plus five to somebody's health. This one uh, it may be for uh, people that need to get in rough and tumble. Uh, it's a Glyph of, pr of Protection, which gives you a plus one to your defense. And this one for uh, those who need to get things from afar. It's a glyph of accuracy, which gives you a plus one to your accuracy. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So are they all like, can you separate them? Or yes, is this absolutely. All one? Yeah, it's like four separate glyphs that you can pick up and have on your person. You, you said the uh, first one yeah. makes a, any perception focus a plus three instead of a plus two. As yep. well and it gives as you empathy. perception, empathy. And, and it also gives empathy. you empathy if you don't have it. Yep. Yeah. It's a glyph of insight. And have, have any of you played The Witcher? <laughs> you, you know, like those like glyph stone? Uh, those mm -hmm. are rune stone? That's actually what those look like. Okay. Um, okay. And then we have one that is of life that boosts somebody's health. By five. By five. By five. Well, yeah. one defense, of which gives a plus one. And accuracy that gives a plus defense. one. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty good I little Zach... bonus. Yeah. I feel like Zach should get the accuracy one, right? Because he's always shooting. Pew pew. I, um, I think that one would, uh, would, would be the most beneficial to, to me. Um... I'm not saying that it wouldn't be beneficial to anybody else, but of the four, that's that's the one that I would benefit from. This one. Would and then what? Me. What's everyone's health? Like, what are your what's your health stat? Um, mine is 41 health right now, but I'm one of the ones that's frontlined, mostly. Aline? Uh, 41. Okay. I'm good. I'm at 56. Wow, I'm at 48 health. So. Oh, you're the only non-rogue in the party, right? Yeah, <laughs> she's um, a warrior. I'm yeah. act okay. I'm also a warrior. I just don't have a lot of hit points. Oh, we we know um, that. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> Look, I so got burned with acid. Can we? Have I think that, I think the health one should go to either Callie or Ava. Ava, you take it. Or she or you could take defense, which would boost your armor. <laughs> mm 
Um, did you want the boost to your defense, Allie? Uh, I mean, I'll take whatever is left. You guys choose. Uh, can I have the insight one? I like it. <laughs> I'm like, I just like it. <laughs> it's pretty. Okay. It's pretty. It has a pleasing And I don't shape. like, I don't really need the defense right now, I don't think. Um, Ava, what's your defense? Like I'm good. Currently? Six. Or no, my defense is ten, my armor six. Oh my god. My defense is thirteen. <laughs> oh. And I have armor four. But you're more of back. And I'll probably be one of... Um, Sabine and I are going to be the ones pulling aggro towards us. Yeah. So if I take the defense of plus one and you take the life and get plus five, I think that would benefit both of us because it'd be harder to hit me. We're getting mechanical, y'all. I hope y'all are. I hope y'all are down for this. Welcome to number crunching time. New game, learning new stuff. <laughs> okay, then. I then I'll take the insight one because all those other ones, like the defense and the uh, life, I'm. I don't need those. So I would rather go to the people who need them. All right. Okay. And then, all right, let me write down. This is a straight up. Yeah, for as long as you have the lift on you, so don't lose it. Don't break it. Don't gamble it. Uh, it's a good bonus. <laughs> and also, it means that we could probably, over time, if someone needs it, we can switch them out. Yeah. Us. On, you can only have one active on you at any time, but if needed, yeah. they can be technically switched around. All of a sudden, I feel five points heartier. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, so I, I'll, I'll look at uh, the annoyed one. I totally forgot her first name. I apologize. Arkaya. Arkaya. There we go. <laughs> um, what would you have used it for, aside from accessing these items <laughs> inside of it? What would I have used this for? Well, I mean, I could have probably sold it again back for much more. I mean, to me itself, I may have possibly used it depending on my interest in it. But it's all with those things. It's always a gamble what treasure it may hold. It sounds like it's like breaking open a geode. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think it's the same thing. It's, it's a, a kinder, kinder. It's just. It's just a magical Kinder egg, y'all. Come on. <laughs> it, it's a magical Kinder egg with RNG in it. Depending, you know, that you know will give you random magical thing. Like a fun Kinder egg, not a U.S. Kinder egg where you don't actually have the stuff inside. Yeah, like the one we have in it's, Canada. It's a, it's a capsule. Good old, good old capsule. Yeah, egg. put in twenty-five <laughs> cents. Oh, the capsule. Um, yeah. Is the orb reusable as a storage device? I mean, once open, uh, it's not really, it's just, you know, uh, it, should clo it can be closed, but it, you know, it, it's, it doesn't lock itself back. It doesn't reseal it, and there's no way to reseal it? N not to the knowledge that I have currently, it's, it could be, uh, you would need a um, much more advanced mage for such matters. Mm. Which none of us are. No, none of you are mage. Do you know where we can find a mage? A powerful mage. Not in these parts. At, like, the... Her mention of a more powerful mage, Sabine just suddenly gets super laser-focused on, on it, like she's latching onto those words. And it's like... Well, where exactly? If not in these parts, then where? At least, I, I'm, to my knowledge, I don't know any in Estora. Then again, it's a big city with many people. 
It may be, I do believe there's a, a circle, a rumor of a circle near Chaos, but that's just rumor, and honestly, I haven't left Nistar in need. I think rumors are worth checking out. And she just look. Just bend over the counter and just look at you intensely, Sabine. Seem look back at her. Particularly inter interested in Mage. Yes, I am. Just look at you for a moment. And read to you a little bit. I see. I'm looking for a specific group. They usually wear dark red robes. What do you think about that? I like you. I'll ask you. I like you too. <laughs> Thank you. Well, hopefully those trinket will serve you well. Browse for more and shrink it up as always. Oh, no, I say always open, not really yet. My business hour in front. But you're always welcome here. Thank you. I I, appre I appreciate that. Thank you so much for your help. Honestly, it was just a lot of fun to open and figure this one out. And if, if at any point in your venture minutes. you come across other oddities like this, Please bring them by. I love new toys. Same. <laughs> uh, before we leave, I just want to do a cursory look around. Okay. Uh, to see if I can happen to find a, a bag that's bigger on the inside. Sure. And uh, give me... Uh, that would be... Perception... Searching? Come do on. help actions work exist in this case? I do believe uh, there's a help option. Do, do, do. Just in case. Let me just double check. I, I got a 15. 15. With five stunt points. Okay. Yes. You can use those stunt points however you wish. Uh, it would be in this point, uh, this, in this case, an exploration. I, I would do it as exploration. So, right, so efficient and speedy. Yeah. And then I guess uh, I would just have an extra point because the the number one doesn't really apply to this and none of the others really apply to this. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you look at, you take a look around and, you know, search and just browse and you see all sort of very, very interesting odd trinket uh, here and there. Some that, you know, may or may not be functional. Uh but you do see a little um, bag, box looking thing uh, with a um, seal, seal on it that you can just essentially open. Um, that may be exactly what you're looking for. Excellent. Excellent. So I'll pick it up. I'll open it up. And I'll shove my hand into it. How far down can my arm go into it? <laughs> I mean, you, you like you go like <laughs> shoulder deep. Uh, Perfect. Which I mean, for those of you that are looking as a queen, it's like the size of the bag is about you know that big. Not very. It's not very very big. It's very portable. Um, its entire arm should not fit in there. <clears throat> All right, and I pull my arm out, and I very calmly I go, and 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 how much is this? Oh, um, hmm. Let me check, and she look at her ledger. I forgot I had that one, that thing behind there. Uh, I can, I guess, I suppose I can part it for you for I don't know, twenty. Okay, I will give her twenty gold. 
Perfect. Um, I want to go back to the rogues purse. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back to the books, but I specifically want to find any books that are on like arcane knowledge or like magic, like something a mage would have. Something that a mage would study. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any specific, you know, a a approach knowledge, like a, a specific school of knowledge. No, just anything. All right, roll me perception seeing. Uh, per 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 sorry, perception search. Ooh, um, search. Okay. If you have a search, we'll guess. I do. Um, 13? 13. Uh, takes you a little bit, but you managed to find a little uh, book. It's nothing, in it, nothing advanced. It's more like rudiment of, you know... Magic. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's. Uh, you do find a little book here. Um, how much is this? It paid for like for two gold. Okay. She just buys two gold across the counter. None of you are haggling. That's fun. <laughs> Hey, no, 20 gold is a yeah, good price for what this gold. does. Yeah. And you see Zachary in the back, just the, everything else on him is now just being shoved into this bag. Like, all of his other pouches and bags and stuff are just... As long as you don't lose that bag, you're good. Mm -hmm. We've seen how that can ruin a day. More than once. <laughs> I've seen so many gaming party just lose everything to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so That's... I'm. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you first. Oh no, I was gonna say I was curious. Um, mm -hmm. I, I guess a bit of a question about the setting. Um, you know, we're we're at tech, but there's not a whole lot of networking stuff. That's fine. A lot of the data is self-contained. Would would, do, would libraries in this setting be? Hey, look, we have physical books, but also here a data center of digital versions of these things that you can download yeah. kind of a thing uh, you know there's a, there's like a there's, there's some obviously some physical books here and there uh which are honestly for the most part a bit more oddities here and there that uh you will maybe be able to find some shop a lot of you know the written story is stored in data and like very very important books are like well you know are like well kept here and there uh, you, if you're lucky, you will come across a shop like this. A kind lady that is you know, willing to part way with books. Uh, but library, most most of the things will be digital. Okay. Any and any physical books, you know, will be well kept. Because this is it's usually usually the original that they have. They just digitalize it. Because I'll, I'll say to Sabine when she, you know, walks out with the book, like, I, uh, this one should still have access to the university library if you want more information on magic. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm always up for going to the library if we have time. Could be a quick stop later if nothing happens dun 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 yeah I um or maybe even if there's like another bookstore because I mean in theory I would want to take the books with me in a library I would have to return it at some point and I don't really want to just take a book now the digital copies don't work that way oh okay um, we could just and I just I hold up the data reader and like we could just put them all on here and you can read it whenever you want maybe I should just get my should I get my own data reader so I'm not using yours they're not super expensive. They're easy to find. Okay. Maybe on our way to um, wherever we're going next, I can pick one up. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay. What's um, the plan? So, uh, should we go over to the shop that Callie needs to stop by? Yeah, you're up next. Okay. So, we're going to get into the car. Vroom, vroom. 
You know, I have to deal with city traffic, it's a pain. Oh yeah. Sabine's driving. <laughs> driving. I'm, I'm playing, <laughs> I'm playing with the back. Suddenly his head disappears. In the back. <laughs> Party trick. <laughs> Everything just spills out. Um, yeah. Let's go to the dragon hold. Okay. So eventually you make it to in front of this uh, shop called the Dragon Horde, which has this weird mechanical dragon at the top of the door. Um, but for, for the most part, it is a very simple uh, looking building. You're more than welcome to walk in. Walk in. <laughs> And if, I mean, yeah, Callie definitely does. No. If you guys want to join me, you can. Yeah. Uh, what kind of shop is this? It's a rare antique shop. Yeah. So when you guys look, you can see like rare looking um, cutlery, like what you would usually find in an acting shop. Some of it's yeah. like junk looking. Other stuff is really like high end. You're like, where the hell did they get this? And... Um, it's kind of like that high end where it's all nicely organized in mm. different sections. And there's, do you want to take it from here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, please describe the shop. I mean, you know that <laughs> shop. Yeah. So once you guys get in, you see, as I was saying, it's all in different sections, really neatly placed. And in front you see, uh, this really beautifully carved um, oak um, oh, what you, countertop. And you see this dwarf that has a really amazing looking beard that's, uh, I know we've lost your jingles, uh, really well kept nice. in a nice looking suit, uh, reading a book uh, with this long pipe. And he looks up. And, oh. Well, look at you. Funny came back. And you brought of friends course. with you. Welcome oh, yes, to the Dragon Ward. My name is Baba. What can I do for you? You came. Yes, this is. You came for what? Yes, what we talked about last time I was here. Oh, are you with them, right? Or. Yes, they're up and up. Though. Not all the way. It takes it. Get my meaning. Oh, apart from this. Oh, pipe. I wasn't sure when you were coming, so I kept it nearby. And oh, you good. Just reach under the counter and put it in, in like in in front of you is this like very simple but very well made uh, wooden box. I mean. I had to ask a few favor for it. That's something I usually keep around. The not exactly yes. table and chair and cutlery. But you know, I guess somebody could cook with that. I mean back in the day, camping. You shoot, you use your bolt as a I mean cook it on the spigot. It I mean. is premium camping gear. <laughs> you know me, I'm not much of a camper. I'm, you know. That's true. Also... More of the city folk. Well, uh... So, I'm wait oh, I can't wait rude. to see this. You have not introduced me to your friends. Oh, sorry. Where are so your friends? Sabine's just trying to see. It's been Sabine so long. Sabine's just trying to see over the counter. She's just like, what oh, is it? Darling. <laughs> and you press a little button, and from the floor, there's a little, little thing that just lifts a little bit, like oh. about like a foot high. I, oh my gosh. I'm all, you know, so... as you know, I'm also, you know, vertically challenged. So I understand the struggle. Oh, thank you so much. I wish more people had stuff like this. Oh, yes. Very Baba hard. is amazing. Okay, well, uh, this is Sabine. Over there is Hi. Ava or Aveline. And this is Zach. You see the one touching uh, everything over there? Putting his fi fingers. Yes. He likes old things, I mean. 
You still have upstairs that really, really interesting section of old things, or did all that sell out all those years ago? I mean, most of it sold out. It's, it's kind of hard to come by. I had to, you know, reallocate things here and there. And honestly, I just made it. I just made it my art studio upstairs. Oh, really? Yeah, I've taken oh, a painting right. recently. Oh, I remember seeing some of the painting back then. Oh, it was so amazing. I, I'm glad you're actually following that hobby. But I can't wait to see what you got me. Pretty much what you asked for. I mean, it may have been a bit of wear and tear on it, second hand. No, but that's fine. You no, know, does the job. If it works, that's all. Checked it. It works. It's wonderful. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's what you came here for, not exactly for chair and spoons and tea cups. So, oh, you know me, Bubba. So, uh, were you also able to get the bolts too? I was able to get a few. Yeah, it's it's all it's, okay. all, it's all in the box. No, you know I like you know compacting little space. Oh yeah. Nope. That's why I came to you because I knew you would be able to find it for me. You also got those two um, daggers that I asked for as well, right? Indeed, indeed. I know. Oh, you are the sweetest person. I love you. I was always your favorite, wasn't I? Of course. You always made my life so much easier. Um, oh, I did stop off at the orphanage and I donated, like... I'm for sure. agreement. Okay. So, I do have a question for you. And you know, it, this you, you talk to him and he keeps eyeing Zekreen, like, hopefully that he's not going to break something because he's probably, you know, touching everything back there. Uh, so Zach that... was sitting out by the truck. Were you? Was Zekreen sitting or by the truck? did you finally come in? No, that's fine. I, yeah, I'll, I'll just come in and be looking at all the old stuff. Okay, I wasn't uh, sure. I, did, I missed that. Sorry. No Zach? worries. Uh, come here. Uh, I think you might want to listen in to our conversation. Um, now, Bubba, knowing you, do you have you heard about the autonomous front that started up about a year ago? I mean, and who hasn't really, right? Do you have any idea? Have they? Any of the? She kind of pauses and looks around to see if there's anybody other, any other patrons that are currently in the shop. No, it's, it's anti store. Like there's only like few and far between. Okay. And don't worry about listening device. I got my usual setup. Oh, you are wonderful. Now I'll just get to the chase. Yeah, Do your you data, anybody... your, your your mobile thingy don't work in here. Mm -hmm. Everything's dead. How rude. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bubba doesn't fuck so around. Bu oh no, Bubba is amazing. Now Bubba, um, they've been causing some problems and have actually hurt some innocent people, which, you know, is against our code. Has any of them come in here? Because if I can, I want to put a stop to them causing problems for innocent people who are just trying to live. I mean, if any of them come he came here to purchase things, I didn't know their association. Okay. If you notice anybody who, you know, drops hints, do you think you can contact me? I can arrange something. Thank Depending you, where you are, it might take some time. That's true. <sighs> Uh, seriously, someday we're going to get telecommunications that are just amazing, but we'll have to wait on that. Um, so here's the money that I we agreed upon, and here's another ten gold. Well, oh, generous. Oh, you know me. Always got to keep my people doing well. I mean, you seem to be doing well with all that money. Careful. Oh, you know me. I always hide things everywhere. Yes, you do. <laughs> I think during this whole conversation, the rest of us are just watching like, what's what? going on? <laughs> what? Anyways. Who is um, this person? 
now. Um, you know, I'll probably be coming back later at some point. I'll see you around, Bubba. Unless you guys have anything you want to ask him. He's an old friend. I've known him for gosh. I'm, we've been friends for about 50 years, haven't we? Or 60. I forget. Who's counting at this point? <laughs> That's true. Anyways. Um, anything you're looking in particular, you'll be amazed what Bubba can find you. No, I don't think so. Unless he knows anything about um, mages. Might. Pence. You'll be amazed. Bubba gets around. He hears things, that's for sure. And, you know, if you're a friend of Callie, you're friend by extension. And the right coin, the right pocket, brings the word to the good ear. Information can come around. You can find it. We take time. Coin. Baba can fight it. Not there. <laughs> as long as you um, also donate to a cause. That's right. Oh. Yeah, I'm more than happy to do that. Um, uh, well, there's a group of mages. Um, they wear like dark red robes. Um, they are, um, well, they are known to just go in and destroy places. I was just wondering if you or somebody that you know knows anything. Do you have anything more that one could go by and possibly help any besides red robes, any sigil, any name, or any identifying feature? I didn't necessarily have time to answer to ask them those questions when they were destroying my village. Let me see. Well, I'm sorry to hear about that. I'll look around. I'll ask around. I don't think too kindly to things like that. So you, not only you will have the, you know, friend of a friend discount, but you will also have the Baba special, which when things are interesting and I I don't like too much. I tend to go nitpick a little bit further for just a little bit more for much cheaper. So, I'll ask oh, yeah. around. Out of character, uh, I want Bubba to be an NPC in every game that I play for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba is the oh, best. Yeah. Oh yeah, Bubba is the best. He is right there to my heart. Okay. Well, think how much will it, will this Cost. What is I mean, it? Uh, let's start with ten gold. See what uh, word can I can put on the street with that. She, and if any, she'll give him. She'll put fifteen gold on him. And I'm sure that our dear friend here will you know, also. And she he gives you back the, the the five. I'm sure that my dear friend will tell you exactly where to go. Deposit that extra gold here. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, it's always a pleasure. There he is. And now, where's my hug? Before we leave. All right, all right. And you see him up, down, <laughs> and just go around the counter and just give Kelly the biggest hug. Oh, it's so good to see you, old friend, after all these years. I will definitely be back. Don't be a stranger. Oh, I won't. No. And maybe next time this is going to be a gal an art gallery. No. Oh, that would be amazing. And you know, I would definitely need to get a few of your pieces. Given how amazing you were back then, I can just imagine how good you've been now. Oh, before I could forget, if you know, have heard anything about you know who. Definitely let me know. Oh, and here's my number for my new um, communicator. So. All right, perfect. Mm -hmm. I think she's been around. 
heard, last I heard she was in town, so. But it's been a, like a month or so. Um, at that hearing that that person has been around, you just see kind of Callie tense up and then relax. Well, I'm going to have to stay under the radar then in that case, if she's around. But thank you, old friend. I mean, if she asks, we haven't seen each other in decades. Very true. And um, she's going to wink to him. Okay, if all are nothing else you guys want to do, let's head out and decide where we want to go next. Sabine says nothing. She just walks off. No wave to Bubba. Yeah, Bubba's shop is a thousand percent front. <laughs> <laughs> Everlyn just looks very confused at the whole exchange. <laughs> like... <laughs> As soon as we get outside, I would be like, this this one has some questions. Yes. Um mainly let's see. Orphanage code. It's, uh what? <laughs> oh no. Uh one of the things with Bubba is you donate eh. If you get into money, you give about 10%, 20% if you want a little better deal, or I always give 30% of whatever I earn to the orphanage. We can just go over there right now, and uh, Sabine can donate. Okay, that's a, uh, that's, that's a good answer. Um, Do you think I'd... I've just been somebody that's absolutely heartless and doesn't think about other people. No, 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 no. It's, 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 it's not that. It's, it's, we, we know so very little. Um, they, each time there's something new is revealed, it's interesting. As you say, I'm very complex. I mean, we could all say the same thing about everybody in this group. Uh, I is mean, true. I, it's not like we, it's not as though we ask, not as though we've ever asked Callie about her backstory or anybody's ever asked me about mine. Mm-hmm. Well, dear, for yours, I can tell that it's painful. And in my experience, it's better to let you get used to us before asking those, for those painful memories. And she- Pats you on the shoulder. Now let's get into the car and head over to the orphanage real fast. And then, do you want to go to the meeting or do you want to do something else? What else would we do? I mean, we can explore. Possibly find something to go investigate. Another place like that haunted school. See what's happening there. You want to pick up a job? Is that what you're saying? (laughs) I don't know. I mean, technically (laughs) we're taking a vacation here, so. We could just get up the side job bulletin board. It's school. Yeah, let's can we go find Craig's list? (laughs) Post them around town, right? Craig's literal list. Like, it's just... Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's just the dude named Craig with like a long list of things. Yeah. Um, so like once we're in the car and we're discussing this, that's when Callie's gonna open the box and look inside. And just go, oh, Bubba, you are absolutely amazing. And um, you guys see it as she pulls out this crossbow that almost looks like a hand crossbow, but where um, it's currently folded and she flicks a small lever and all of a sudden it breaks out and you can see it's uh, ready to be strung and shot once a bolt is added. And then she inspects the bolts after she puts it back. And how many bolts of the different kinds? Uh, about like two bolts of 
The different two gold. Yeah. Okay. And then some regular, I would say. Yeah. Also gave me. Uh, roll me a d6 for the regular one. That's a six. All right. And you have six. Okay. Okay. I think we're all ready here. And um, she's going to look at the two special ones that she has. Do not touch these. They are going to hurt or knock you out. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Do not touch them. And then she, like, very carefully puts them back in, closes the box, and then uh, pulls out the two daggers, quickly looks at them and goes, okay, I'm ready to go. So where are we going? Are we going to the school or where are we going? <clears throat> like how you just made up a school. <laughs> we're going so, to the school now. Alex I mean, thought, I thought we were gonna go check the job to. board. There's the job board at school, if I remember. <laughs> Zach was saying. I, I was just saying a side quest bulletin yeah. board, like. Yeah, it's at school. It's for um, broke college kids who need to who need to make a quick buck. That's right, there's a big gig economy around yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, mean there they would they would be trips. a very big gig economy around Nasera because you know. This type of town. I mean, we can also, when we go to the orphanage, sometimes they'll have uh, requests for supplies and such that we can just go and get, or somebody's messing with them. Well, let's go to the orphanage, and then if we don't want to go to the meeting, yeah, I feel like um, I have a lot of uh, aggression that I want to take out, so maybe we've got a job. That'd be nice. I don't want to take it out on you guys. Please don't. I mean, I would totally prefer if you didn't do that. Um, but before we go out on a job, if we could go back to the hotel first, that would be really cool. Okay. Right. So we go to the orphanage. Yeah. So for sake of brevity, probably swing by there. Mm -hmm. Go back to. I say hi to Madam. Yeah. Carlisle and go, oh, this is my friend. Here's money. Love you. Bye. See you next week. All right. And as we head back to the festive hotel, uh, we're just going to take a few minutes, quick break, quick bar break. I think everybody probably needs it because we've all been drinking a lot of water and all that. So we'll be back in a few minutes for mm -hmm. part two of today's episode. So see you all in a moment.
our back for part two here. All right. So, as our little group come back from Papa's, Papa's Shop of Wonder, doing a kind donation to the orphanage as well, back to Festive Hotel, which, I mean, is essentially a fancy cardboard box. Um, a stack on top of a different bo box. Um, because I do believe that's where you want to do a quick stop, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> uh, Ava looks at Sabine and says, Sabine, so you have to come upstairs. I mean, everybody else can come upstairs too, but Sabine, you really need to come upstairs. And then she takes off to her room. As you're walking in, um, well, I, I can one of you make me an empathy check quickly uh, as you're looking at the uh, affling behind the counter, just looking at you going up. Averlyn is too distracted because she's excited. So I'm not even going to roll. Um, 14. 14. Oh, uh, with, with four stunt points. All right. Did you remember to have, you have a focus in there, right? Yeah. I added it. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, Callie got a nine nine um, it may just yeah it may just be that you know extra you know inside that you just recently got <laughs> um some things are just a little bit off about um your friend there um as you walk in he just wave you and goes back to his business. But um, I would like to approach him and just say, and maybe um, speak to him in, speak to him in Halfling and just ask him if something is wrong because he seems, seems, it seems like something's bothering you. Can you uh, give me a communication uh, either persuasion or yeah, that's it. Communication persuasion or would be that. Um, I got thirteen. He looks around and looks through um one of the window and. You can see across, you know, the building, there's... You've seen them across the entire city, like those... Essentially the eyes of the guild across the city. Little, you know, Cameron Black Globe. Um, somebody came by and asked for you. Member of the guild. Asked for our group, or...? Well, they did not ask for by name, but they they were looking for people matching your description. Did they say why? They did not say. They just said to notify if you know I saw anything. But can I like um, you? So, yeah, but I also don't want any. You're not, you're not here to cause no. trouble, right? I don't. I, I honestly don't want no, any trouble. We're not here to cause you any trouble, and I mean, we definitely don't want to do anything that will bring harm to you. you. Is there a a back exit that we can go through? Oh yeah, um, there, there's one. Did we pay him up front, or do we have to? It was, it was paid up front. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. We. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna I'm gonna speak to my companion, and then I'll be back. Just it'll be okay. We don't want anything to come, any harm to come to you. Um, she's gonna like if everybody went upstairs, she's gonna like scurry upstairs. So, um, like Callie probably knows that you to come and is waiting for you. Um, you see her eyes are like she's trying to keep like a very 
neutral expression, but like she, her eyes are full of worry. Um, and she's just like, we, we need to go talk to the others right now. Um, get to Ava's room, close the door, and before Ava can say, say anything or show anything, the means like, we have to get out of here, the guild is looking for us. They told, they told the, the inn's keeper to report when As soon as she says would... that, I take a look out the window. I told him that we would leave. Uh, Kelly does like... the same. Very right, subtly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's like those little, you know, blind yeah. things, so you can probably be behind. Uh, g give me perception seeing. Okay, that would be... Oh, that's not bad at all. 18. 18? Fine. Any stun point on that, or no, it's just eight, straight nope. up 18? All right. Uh, 17 for me. 17. All right. Uh, surprisingly, like this, the streets seem to be. I mean, they're they're never busy, but they seem to be fairly clear. Uh, uh, with the exception of the one uh, guild guard uh, trooper that appeared to be, you, you you're ca barely able to see it, uh, and, and like near an alley, nearby. Uh, but just that's just because you rolled both so well that you're able to spot him in uniform. He may not have spot you coming in. But I was gonna tell the innkeeper to wait like maybe an hour before reporting that we were here. Yeah, no, we need to leave town. We need to leave now. To yeah. If I'm sorry, I know you wanted to show us something, but we should really need can it wait? No, that's okay. It's going with us. So, okay. Because okay, I'm, I'm sure gonna go down. Not... Okay, I'm gonna go down and tell him what. How long should we should he wait before he reports? Probably not. Maybe not even an hour. Maybe like five, ten, ten minutes. Like 10 Honestly, minutes. we're gonna hop in the vehicle okay. and and okay. bounce as quickly as we can. Sabine mm -hmm. rushes down to to tell the inn innkeeper that, um, just like wait, give us ten minutes. We'll be out of here, and then call the guild so that you don't get in trouble. Tell them that you were making sure that we were settled in our rooms and not going anywhere. Okay. Um, I, as she runs out, I look over at Avril and I go, you should get those things that we acquired yesterday ready in case we need a distraction. She just winks. And no. we need to get to the vehicle. Where would we have parked it? Uh, Probably like on the other, uh, like up side of the building. There's not much space around here, but there's a little side, like alley bet between those two buildings that one could park a uh, vehicle that would be, you know, not too much in the way of anybody. Would that be the alleyway that's outside of the window of this room or on the other side? On the other side. Um, okay. Are there rooms over there? There, on on that side, there's like, there's like one room, uh, and it's like the, the the old man that you know yell at Avalyn for being loud. Cool, we're gonna piss off that old man again, because we're gonna go through his room and out the window. We shouldn't go back downstairs. No. Uh, is there room service that we can call? <laughs> I mean. Technically speaking, oh. this establishment does not have room service, but because... I mean, like a communication. Never mind. <laughs> not really, no. But because you were so generous, okay. like, you know, he was willing to, like, go the extra mile here and there. Uh, but, no, it's not, it's not that fancy place. Like, it's, like, above a dive, and that's it. Okay. This is the Motel 6, okay? Yeah. Think. Yeah. Right, we're in a they keep the, light, still have phones. They keep the light on for us. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah. They leave okay. the light on for you. That's about all we got. And that's only because they're too lazy to turn it off. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so let's just get out of here. Give the old man some coin. That'll shut him up. Well, he's going to get four days worth of all of our rooms yeah, without effectively staying in them. So he's making so, out well. I thought you. <laughs> 
Did you mean the innkeeper or the old man in the room? Yeah. The old man. Oh, the old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He has money. Bye. Right. Yeah, so let's uh, let's head that way, and hopefully, hopefully his door is unlocked, so we don't actually have to like knock and then push him over, kind of a thing. Oh, no worries. If that happens, Callie can just pop the lock. I mean, it is it is closed and locked, but one could always you know either knock or say it's room service or some shit like that. How do we want to do this? Housekeeping. I mean, let's try knocking first. If he unlocks the door and opens it, we can get in. That's that's not an issue. Okay. Uh, Callie's gotten all her stuff. All right. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Get ready yes. now. I'll, I'll pull out my 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 rifle. No, uh, leave it. Be easier to just scare him as, and go by him. Leave it. Stay behind the door where he can't see you. Um. Callie knocks. What is it? If you open the door, I'll give you money. <laughs> That's not usually how it works, but okay. <laughs> Straightforward. <laughs> Whatever and works. Open the door, just gently, and just look at you like. Here's five Are gold. You sure? Let us go through your window. Five gold. Let us go through your window. Say nothing at all. Okay. I'm Five confused, but... Good. Stay that way. Okay, come on, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Harvalyn waves as she goes by. Sorry about the other <laughs> night again. And, you know... Give up all that apology. It's just this old, like, four confused old men in his underwear looking at you going through his room. Kelly goes to the window, opens it up, look, does a quick cursory look. Perception. And then uh, perception skiing. Make sure. Ooh. Uh, that's with four stunt points. So that is nine, ten. That is twelve. And let me see. Exploration. Uh, speedy and efficient search. Virtual use. Let's see if the coast is clear. The coast appears to be clear, so... So, Callie jumps out first and then helps everybody else out, because she has the least amount of stuff on her. I mean, I'm sure that you have a rope that you will not break your leg going down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Still, you know, a two-story building. Oh. Uh, yeah, you can make your way down, for sure. No problem. Bring your friends to go as well. Side alley. And do the old trick of flicking it so I can oh, get my rope back. Classic, you know? Yeah. And Amazing you just see, like, the, the very confused old man just, like, look over the window. And. Callie waits. Thank you. Haverlin just goes. Um. If you as fuck. <laughs> why not? I will, I will, I will take the driver's seat this time. Um, and I do believe we are going to do hardcore west. Like, we are right on a road that will lead directly west out of town. Mm -hmm. so. Um, but that wouldn't be essentially... It wouldn't... Because, as I said, you're in a car. You're not going to be able to stealth your way around the city. Uh, but... You know the city, you would know possibly if you know way to avoid at least most of the main roads. Because it's basically, you know, just as you know, a full open top, you can just easily hide in it. Um, Kelly puts up her hood. Yeah, give me intelligence. The bee just hides on the floor. <laughs> like, it's like trying to I... sneak into the drive in movie theater. Give me intelligence. Uh, do you have cartography by any chance? Any focus? Uh, I do. N I, no, I have cryptography, but not cartography. All right. Uh, just give me <laughs> intelligence then. Just guess. 
Just to know. Remember to greet. Uh, could Callie attempt to aid? Yeah, that? and you can do that as well. You have yeah, card to uh, Callie's... Nope. Alright, just... But since she knows the city. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, that'll uh, be, uh, 18 with two stop points. No. Alright. You can use that as exploration. Uh, 16 for Callie. Um, I guess, I guess just advantageous positioning, I guess, because yeah. we're driving out. Yeah. But, like, can... looking at the map and where the hotel is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, literally just straight west should lead us yeah. right out of town. Yeah. Yeah, straight west will le lead you out of town. Uh, uh, you would suspect, though, that it may be possible luck. Uh, as you're heading west, uh, Sabine and Avalyn, can you just get like, just give me like a quick perception thing? Yeah, I would think that uh, Zach and I are both like, oh, use this back road, we can get off, and <laughs> we're just like, oh, what about this one? No, I remember that was bad. Um, nineteen. Nineteen. Seventeen with six stunt points. Nice. Wow. All right. Uh, you can use those at point in exploration if you wish. Uh, right. Every time I go to look for this... But what both of you are seeing as, you know, Zachary and Callie are focusing on, you know, finding a fast route, you do notice, like, on 5th Street, uh, some of those giant... Uh, TV screen, having your all reconstruction of your face, actually from you know, an angle, uh, on there, and footage being played of when you came in, came in in town. You remember the incident, you know, where you did help some people get out of the vehicle and all that. It's hard to uh, it's hard to get only because you have like both good perception and you know trying not to drive too quick to be noticed. Uh, there's something off about those footage. Like piece and uh, pieces uh, is part of it are not exactly you. They seem just to be like reconstruction and well made. Bag of you know you mostly like looting and creating the chaos. They deep faked us? Some deep fake. Oh my god. Oh, no. man, I, no. some, I will burn some, the city to the ground. Somebody asked so, the power and technology to do so in this. Sabine turns to Zach and says, I told you this place wasn't good. Wait, what are you? I knew it. She points to the, like, she says, she points to, the, like, the billboard. The TVs with their faces on them. They're setting it, us up to look like terrorists. Oh man, they didn't get the. No, they didn't get that right at all. The nose is always off. <laughs> you just see Callie's face when she looks up, go slightly pale, and then get extremely pissed. Is that? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to take down the guilds? I'm pissed. Now it's personal. <laughs> oh no! You have no idea when it comes to Callie. As you're driving, being further in the road, there's indeed some guild roadblock. Okay, so with my stun points, I am going to uh, use a uh, the upper hand is four points. If your discoveries lead to combat within a moment or two, you receive a plus three bonus on your initiative roll. It's <laughs> a good oh, one. Nice. So keep that in mind. Fighting. And then you have uh, advantageous positioning. You make your discovery from an advantageous position of your choice up to two yards away from the place that would normally lead to your discovery with respect to the object. I mean, you're in a car. Okay. Right, but you're not driving. <laughs> well, never mind then. Tuck and roll, but <laughs> yeah, that's really the only one because neither of the others. 
I don't need efficient search or speedy. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could possibly use speedy search in order to see if we can find a side road that Zach and I have missed mm. with this new information. Possibly. That's fair. Um. Are they are they eye eyeing us? Uh, I, don't think uh, I mean, you. It's, it's hard to tell if they're really eyeing uh, you because, well, they have like those helmet, but you don't see their faces. It's kind of no. Uh, <laughs> but they seem to be, you know, checking every vehicle coming through. Okay, so they haven't spotted us. No, there's yeah, you know they're looking for us, but they, they haven't. It's like seen going. Us. It's like trying to cross the border you, yeah. in a line. They're like. Yep. Any side roads that, that we can that we could pull down. It's going to be rough. Yeah. Uh, if you were any um, straight east, uh, uh, west, uh, yeah, there's you know a few side road here and there. Callie's going to be pulling out her um, communicator and see if she remembers an old friend from the guard, his number, and she's going to attempt to call it. Roll me intelligent. Uh, I mean, would it be? Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, if you have any focus that you believe that would apply to that, historic, sorry, uh, <laughs> maybe. Well, would... it's a straight. It's seventeen. Seventeen. I mean, you hope that you remember a number. You hope that it's still active. I try it. Somebody answer. Beep, 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 beep. Well, yes. Tev, is that you? Oh, look at you. What kind of yes. shit show have you put yourself into? Well, it's not something that I wanted to do, but uh, it seems somebody from the... Where the fuck are you? Uh, I give, I see a street sign and go, I'm currently here. Do you have any idea how we can get out of here? Because it seems we pissed off the uh, autonomous front or whatever those assholes are. I'm not sure who you pissed off. Or we pissed off the guard, I don't know. Somebody well above, above my pay grade, Marlin. Uh, hey, you know where is, you know... You know so where... she's on the phone with the CC her accent switch. You know where the old bomb shelter is? Well, of course. I remember that quite well. Well, my shift is ending in 10 minutes. I may have a way to help you get out of trouble again. <clears throat> Oh, that would be great. You owe me again. Oh, I know. You and Astrid are the two that I owe. I'm currently helping her. We'll be there in, I would say, 10 minutes. Or when you get off, we'll be there. And you're not being overly followed. We'll take the old routes. You remember those. And you just see Callie sit back, put her hands her into her face, and she's just like, oh, okay. So the biggest discovery today has been that apparently one of us is an onion. <laughs> oh, and we're oh, just we're finally the layers are just are just being peeled away here. And it's yep. That's going to be the title of the episode. Er, somebody's an onion. <laughs> somebody's an onion. I mean, it works. <laughs> oh, let's just say you've seen one part of Callie. You haven't seen the second, next section yet. Oh, let's just say she is complicated, but fun. You're slowly making as carefully as possible without notice. 
put up or whatever you can do to conceal your identity. Some of you are just, you know, orange creature. Right, because I'm the only orange colored Saurian in the entire city. That's that's yeah. that's totally true. I mean, you know, there, there, there's, there's, a, there's a few, like, you know, other color. There's a few orange one. But, you know, still, an orange Saurian will stand out regardless. Mm -hmm. Nobody may mistake you for anybody else. But, you know, you're a, orange is not exactly a color that blends in, you know, in a very gray area. Fine. That's why there's cones that color. Did you call me a traffic cone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Well, Looking back at everybody, Callie would probably say, um, Zach, you might want to actually put some oil to make you less noticeable. Uh, and you just see her kind of pause, look at like a lock of hair and going, Oh yeah, she's gonna yell at me. Oh, she's gonna yell at me. Who's gonna yell at you? <laughs> she just looks at you. I love looks forward, gives a uh, turn here. And eventually, I'll make her way in the bomb shelter where. One lonely man, still trooper's uniform, is standing there. Oh, hello, old friend. Took you long enough? Yes, well, trying to not get the attention is difficult. Follow me. Come on, everybody, grab all your things. Are we leaving the vehicle? It's best to do that right now. Okay. If anybody has too many things, I just kind of open the bag. <laughs> Shove stuff in here if it's too heavy. Uh, Hi, and Ava. <laughs> Ava's got all her... She's got, like, guns <laughs> strapped everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Callie's has... Pulls out the crossbow and bolts and just puts it on to her back underneath her cloak. It brings you down shelter where you're currently this time that there's absolutely no goes in front of you know wall that without any discern feature. Pull a little card from the pocket and just wipe it, which open floor. Takes another card, give it to Callie. At the end of the tunnel, you know what to do. To bring you somewhere safe. Thank you, old friend. Sorry to do this to you again. And she gives him a hug. Hugs back. Alright, get the fuck out of here be now. Be safe. You be safe. Oh. Is there anything that needs to be done outside of the city that the god has failed to do? You know, remember how there was times that people would come to the god for help? They would ignore him for the more richer section. I mean, doing the business here that of Big top. If you do, I'm sure somebody helpful. at the end of the line will be able to tell you. Okay. Thank you. Walk as soon as you know, door closed behind you. A few little, very, very faint light just guiding you to the tunnel. Lights up. Walk. Imagely come in front of this. But I can only describe as an elevator door. You can 
hard. Kelly's been through this before. She's she knows the rope. She uses the card. And brings you up. Found her. And as the door open. Brings you to the interior of a room which appeared to be much nicer than you'd expect, you know, at the end of the tunnel. And just standing there, waiting. No friend. And that's where we'll end. Wait, no. Yeah. An old friend of no. Who is it? No. <laughs> Who is it? No. I know. Hey, you're the one who asked us to end a little earlier tonight, so this is on you there. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, okay, that's fair. No, that's that's fair. fair. Yeah. But still, an old friend? Can you at least tell us who's old friend? I mean, what? (laughs) Okay, it's an old friend of Callie's. It's an old friend of mine, yeah. Okay, well, I figured as much. I mean, it could have been an old friend of all of ours, you know? Yeah, it could have been. You know, it's the bear, the bear the baron. The person that knows everybody. <laughs> See, bear I was expecting the beer baron to show up and be like skinny and be like, ha ha, and you thought I was that's, fat. Like, that's right. It was what? just... <laughs> the beer baron is actually like a, a smaller person in the, into a very fancy mech suit. He's the a beer super spy. Actually, yeah, super spy for the um, anti-guild movement. I'd buy it. All right. Oh, you guys are going to have some fun with this one. Let's right. just say there's going to be a huge drop now next week. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Make sure to tune in for next week's you know, interesting shit show. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not going to be a shit show. It's going to be chaos. The same uh, oh, chaos no, we it, always have. It can be chaos and still be a it shit show. It can be show. both. Yeah. The last not five mutual- episodes is proof of that. <laughs> They're not mutually <laughs> exclusive. That's fair. Oh, yeah. That's fair. Oh. All right. As we head out for tonight, um, but he wants to, you know, plug, you know, who they are, what they're, uh, where they can find them on ye old internet. Uh, in whichever order you prefer, guys, entirely up to you. I'll go first so Fair doesn't have to go first this time. Uh, so I am Celine. Um, you can find me right here on Thursdays. You can find me on my channel streaming typically Fridays and Saturdays, but that's not the way that's been going lately. Um, and this Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, you can find me at twitch.tv slash ATL participating in what streams may come which is a table read of shakespeare that is randomly cast and randomly rolled uh randomly assigned to roles that is i will be doing the second half so uh it's actually act three scene three and forward of hamlet so that should be a lot of fun um it gets wild it gets body come have some shakespearean bardic fun um yeah that was all i could i I thought i had more but i do not (laughs) shakespeare as it was meant to be right shakespeare as it was meant to be on the internet on the internet internet. fantastic we ever i'll go next then next uh hi everybody i'm kitty you can find me on twitter at insanekitty32 and also you can check out my shop causality cat studios i'm going to be working on some new um dice next week knock on wood and hopefully if everything goes well have new ones uh the week after or the week after that so yeah keep a look on the shop and yeah that's pretty much it for me right now oh, yeah. Fantastic. this is what it looks like and it does give you good luck or I, so I've been told by other people. Are fair? I'm not kidding, a fair jiggle or fair. Sorry, I'm... Oof, You're I tired, know. it's fine. 
So, all right, all your jiggles fat. You can find me on my Twitch stream or on Twitter at the same when I'm over there streaming, which doesn't happen as much as I would like it to. But it's always good fun when you do. So. Mm -hmm. And you, um, don't you have like a streaming and... anniversary soon? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, the yeah, anniversary... the <laughs> yeah, my one year yeah. affiliate versary. There you go. Um, and I'm fair. You can find me streaming whenever I want over at twitch.tv slash fairbear. You can also follow me uh, on Twitter at fairbear. Um, besides being here every Thursday, Saturdays you could find me um, over on Rolling D's 20s for our Vampire the Masquerade campaign, Philly by Night. That's at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, this Sunday, uh, you could find me over on Balrog 1911's uh, channel. Um, at 2 p.m. Eastern for a charity game of Stila Noct. Um, it's going to be amazing. Uh, we're raising money for Players vs. Cancer. Um, and it's going to have me, Petra, who's the one who created this this game, um, Urban Bohemian, and Stephen Kills, as well as Diane uh, Balrog 1911 as our facilitator. It's going to be a lot of fun. Please stop by. Classic. As always, I am Rafiki. You can you just find me here unless some find me to their channel it might happen at some point just stay tuned on the gr twitter or my personal find out what is i might get into uh once again thank you again to my wonderful cast again my virtual virtual table for episode five well thank you know six would announce zero so which i do because it's fun yeah. and Again, thank you for yours going on by. Always appreciate all of you and catch you all next week. Bye guys. <laughs>